A lot of folks have been hearing about and talking about and discussing the uh, the Google Fiber issue, which could be coming to Greensboro. And uh, I wanted to bring into the program this morning, we're going to call him Citizen Advocate, Jay Overture. And uh, Jay is working with the uh, this whole application process where Greensboro is in competition with other cities that are anywhere from 50,000 to 500,000 in population vying for the opportunity to get this Google Fiber. And, and Jay, uh, a little bit close to it, uh, you've been working with this. Talk just a little bit about what is so spectacular about this Google Fiber. Why would it be the game changer as you see it and other people that are excited about it? Well, for, for starters, it's, uh, it's 21st century technology. And we're 10 years into the 21st century. Um, you know, I, I remember 1978, growing up as a boy in New Jersey, just five years old, and I know I just aged myself, which is something I should, probably shouldn't have done. <laughs> but uh, I remember the, the cable vision guy coming out and putting this copper wire in the side of my house. Well, that same copper wire still comes to our houses today, almost 40 plus years later. <clears throat> it, can, uh, it can, with clarity, uh, at high speed, get large amounts of data from one place to another in a blink of an eye. Um, I know and we're talking I mean, just a, it's a it's a sea change of the yeah. differential. Uh, I, I once compared it to the difference between a, a garden hose and a walk through tunnel. Yeah, you know uh, the difference that that the Google Fiber could be as far as high speed data delivery. And there, uh, what I wanted to focus about, and something that you've been very much a part of, is this will be determined largely, or at least in significant part, to how well the community responds and how involved yeah. everybody gets. This isn't, by the way, a, you know, a city decision to move forward. Certainly that's there. But what we're really going to count is everybody kind of joining their voice to make this happen. And yeah. how, how does that work, and how do people get engaged and involved? Well, uh, what, what I've done is set up a Facebook group. Um, if you're a member of Facebook, you can simply go to the search bar at the top of the group, atop your Facebook page, and type in Bring Google Fiber to Greensboro, comma, NC. Um, we are over 3,400 members. I didn't get a chance to check it this morning. Wow. Um, it raises by about 150 to 200 members a day at this point. Excellent. Um, and, uh, you know, that's where we can get a central message out to everybody, let people know what they need to do. Um, the other thing, and I, I put it on my email on my BlackBerry so I could uh, read it off because it's a, a long uh a, a long web address for the most part. Uh, I tell you what, it yeah. may be better. Is that something we can link to Rush yeah. Radio 94.5? Because yeah, it's going to be harder to yeah, do it that actually, way. We'll, we'll make, a, make it a point to put that on the Morning Rush page today. Okay? But are we supposed to be, as, as everyday citizens, contacting Fiber ourselves and saying, yeah. this is how Google Fiber is going to change our lives? Absolutely. That's the, the part I was talking about. We can, you can actually go to Google has a website, um, and that's the, the link we'll put up. Um, where you can go and nominate your city and explain to them why Greensboro is the choice for Google to come here uh, instead of go to, say, other cities in the running right now, like mm -hmm. Topeka, Kansas, um, or yeah, Columbia, they Missouri. they don't need to go to Columbia, <laughs> yeah. Missouri. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> Columbia, Missouri. <laughs> that doesn't help us no, it doesn't. one little bit. Now, uh, in addition to citizen input, which is really the, the focus of our moment here, there still is a, a lot of information that will be part of this proposal, yeah. which includes what kinds of things, like where the, where the system will run, the, where they actually put the yes. optical fiber, that kind of thing, <laughs> is it? The way the application is broken up, it's 90% of it's weighted heavily towards data, raw data that the city is going to provide. Um, stuff like our topography, how much dark fiber is underneath Greensboro, which is unused fiber cable, um, and uh, and things of that nature, our population, things of that, that sort. The 10% that, that I think is going to win this or lose it for us is the community input. Say that uh, again. That, that's real important. The 10% yeah, of this application. That's going to either win it or lose it for us is the community input. Wow. Um, and, and the reason being, because if we don't qualify in that first 90%, well, then the 10% doesn't matter. But if we do, that 10% is going to make us different from the other cities that are running. Sure. And I know the city mm -hmm. already had a, uh, a town hall meeting, if you will, about yeah. it, a public forum about it. And I know the city itself, as a government entity, is getting involved, but that doesn't account for it. They're not going to speak on behalf of you and I. Right. Th those numbers are going to count as far as Google is concerned. Mm -hmm. this, this is more important than voting. 
<laughs> oh, oh, oh. Wait, you're let, talking to a Rush Radio audience yes. here, and you're saying let, something. Let, let your hey. voice be heard, because <laughs> we, we can be a 20, 20th century city like we are now, or we can be a 21st century city. And what this really means for Greensboro, besides the fact that you and I get faster internet service at home, um, job recruitment tool. Mm. You know, the fact that it's it's better than tax incentives for companies to come to somewhere who has high speed data. Um, we can diversify our portfolio on what kind of jobs we bring in here. So it's not just transportation logistics. I don't want to be stuck with just like we were as a mill town mm -hmm. um, where we only had one sort of job here. And when it went, so did our economy. Um, if we can diversify, we can protect against that in the future. It makes it a better place for everybody to live. Jay, the excitement, uh, I think, is evidenced by several things. Uh, first of all, you, you being here, but also the uh, the numbers of people that are on the Facebook and yeah. the numbers of people in the community. I was looking at a, a list of blogs about this, and, yeah. uh, and the, just the sheer number of them is, you know, top to bottom of the screen and, and several pages long. So th there is a real passion. My concern is, is that passion... Um, we need to broaden that that passion for it. Right now, the people like you that are kind of been there watching this all along are already on board. How do we broaden that to people that are maybe not so aware or so concerned about it? And how do you yeah. get that message out? Um, well, I think it, the News and Records is doing a very good job covering this. They're, they're actually, uh, I think Sunday, they're going to release a piece that puts the entire technology terms in layman's terms. Excellent. So pe people understand the technology because right now, I can talk tech with you and your eyes will glaze over and you know at that point what what difference does it make to you um so i i really uh, i appreciate the news and record doing that um and i think uh you know maybe we can talk about a radio station event get some people together do a big rally film it uh you know send that off to google as well let them show how how excited our community is do we know when they're going to make their decision uh we don't <clears throat> that's uh that's the brilliance of google uh, <laughs> <laughs> Basically, what they've told us is city between 50,000 and 500,000 RFI for high-speed high internet to the home, um, and, and the deadline is March 26th, and besides that, they have said not a word. Gotcha. Very cool. All right, we're going to take a break, 80, and uh, open up the phone lines to any questions you might have about uh, Google coming to Greensboro, what it is we have to do to uh, increase the odds of that happening. 882-RUSH. 882-7874. It's traffic and weather together. From the Rush Radio Traffic Center.